Hi, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you um, how to change drive letters and directories when you're in the DOS command window. So what we're going to do is press on the start down the bottom and then go to run. And if you want to get to the command window, you just type CNMD, okay? And that means command. And just press OK. Now we've got the window come up. Um, this is where we can type commands and stuff like that. Now this is um, who I'm signed in under at the moment. Um, so whoever, like the, if there was say five users on there and I signed in as someone else, well that would say their name there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type, um, I'm going to change the directory. This is a little um, shortcut to actually go back to the next directory. Okay, so we're going to go CD and then dot dot and then press enter. Okay, so that takes me to documents and settings. But before I was actually in the MITS, um, in the user MITS area. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what's in there and I'm going to press DIR. And that shows me what is in that directory. Okay, and now I'm going to change a directory. I'm going to change directory to C slash. Now make sure you get the slash like that. Now if you forget what it is, here it is over here. Okay. Windows. Press enter. Okay, so now I'm in the Windows. Um, well, it's a called a directory on here, but it's actually a folder when you're actually in Windows. So this is the Windows folder. Now if I want to see what's in there, I'm going to press DIR. Now there was way too much to fit on the one screen, so we'll just scroll up and have a look. That was all of that in the folder. Okay, so now I want to um, I can press CD dot, oops, dot dot, press enter, and, and I'll just be in C. Now if I press DIR and then enter, I can see what's actually in C drive. Okay, I'll just move over here. So we've actually got um, a movie on C drive. We've got a Dell folder. We've got documents and settings, program files, uh, Windows. Pretty much not much there because everything usually goes into the documents and settings part. Okay, so we're still in C drive so okay so I'm going to type in so I can get back to documents and settings so I've still got to go change directory space just move that away for you uh, C and then the dot dot um, and the slash and then documents and you have to have everything perfect. If you, if you get one letter wrong, it's not going to do it. Okay? And then I'm going to go back in to where I was and press enter. Okay, so what it's done is it's taken me back there. Now if I put the wrong slash there or anything like that, it won't work. Okay? Alright, now I'm going to change drives. Okay, so what we're going to do is just say I want to go to D drive, which is another drive on my computer. I'm going to press D and then the column, and there we go. Okay, now I want to go back to C. I just do that and press enter. I'm back into C where I was before. Okay, let's go to F, which is a CD drive on my thing. So let's see what's in F. Okay, it's a movie, Coffee Academy, how interesting. Okay, and it's actually a uh, DVD, obviously, because it's got the Video TS folder. Right, now we'll go into E, we'll see what's in E. E, dot, dot, and then enter. Right, now we'll go DIR, and let's have a look. Now... Uh, this is actually my Windows XP setup disk. So 
Yeah, if I want to set up Windows XP right now, I could just type in setup because that's an EXE folder and it'd start to set up. Okay, so let's go back to C. Oops, sorry. See what I've done there? I've accidentally put a slash in there and it doesn't recognize it. Okay, we've got to do it properly. You just the C and the dot dot enter. Okay, and there I am, I'm back again. Alright then, thanks for listening.